G'day gang and welcome back to Lunch for Louie. Now this week we're making breakfast sausage patties from scratch. They're delicious, they're easy and you don't need a mincer. Alright, so the meat for this burger is going to be a nice fatty pork shoulder. Pop a tea towel under your cutting board so you don't add any finger to the burger. Then we're going to come along with our knife and very carefully remove the skin, leaving behind as much of that fat cap as we can. With that done, we're now dicing our pork into one inch cubes, popping on a sheet tray and it's off to the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. While our pork is firming up, into a bowl we're going to add a teaspoon of salt, a pinch of dried rosemary, dried oregano and dried chili flakes, a teaspoon of fresh sage or half a teaspoon of dried sage, one teaspoon of slightly chopped fennel seeds, half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, the zest of half an orange, and a pinch of freshly ground black pepper. Mix that all to combine and give it a look. I added some more fennel seeds, bringing it up to probably two teaspoons of fennel seeds and another pinch of salt. Now, as mentioned, we're not gonna be using a mincer for small amounts of meat like this. I'm only doing touch over 200 grams, which is half a pound. We can use our food processor. Blitzing in small bursts and checking along the way until we reach that nice pebbly consistency that we want for burgers. Now it is time to add our seasoning to our mince, gently working it through until it's all incorporated, covering with plastic wrap, and then it's into the fridge overnight. The next morning, and all those flavors should have got to know each other and be melded and mixed in through the meat. So out it comes out of the fridge. Then it's as simple as shaping into patties, I went with about a half inch in thickness, it's about 12 mil. Then it's into a hot pan, cooking through. Mine took about five minutes one side, another three on the other. If you ever do need help judging cook time, always just cook a guinea pig first. And then if you don't cook these correctly, you can eat the guinea pig you've cooked, you weirdo. Plate up with your favorite breakfast foods and it is time to dig in and let me tell you these things are a lot of fun they're zesty they're surprisingly sweet from the fennel seed the licorice -y. and look at this it gets a lean if you cook anything from the channel I encourage you make it this they're heaps of fun now I'm off to have my breakfast enjoy